The next stage in making our website is to add some content into our menu and our content section. So I'm just going to put some sample text in, so like a title for the menu, and let's put uh, some uh, sample links, so item 1, item 2, item 3, and over in the content section we'll need a title, so let's give it a heading, um, some sample body text, and we'll also add a sample uh, link, a body link. Now the next thing I'm going to do is style these. Um, so if I pick heading 1 and heading 1 for that too, so they're both heading 1s, and I'm going to make some dummy links here. So if I highlight them and in the properties window, just put a hash in the link box, uh, it creates a dummy link. If I clicked on it, it would link to it, and you can see it goes uh, blue and underlined to illustrate that that is uh, a web link. So I'll just do item 3 here, just put a hash in and it becomes a dummy link and we'll do the same for the body link over here in the contents section of the page. Right now if we were to view that in the browser that would use the default heading 1 and link styles uh, which is what we're seeing here in Dreamweaver but what I want to do is use our style sheet to tell the browser how we want it to look. So I click on menu and I'm going to click on uh, new CSS rule. Then I'm going to format it as I want with the font and the size and uh, color that I would want for my um, for the title there. And let's do, make it bold. And the other thing I can do is choose the background. Uh, what color do I want behind uh, that? And I'm going to choose black. But I'm also going to make a little box to put the uh, the title in with a width just sh slightly shorter than the menu at 138 pixels and a height of about 25 and I'm going to float that to the left in the menu. I'm going to do the usual padding of 5 but this time I'm going to add a margin of 1 pixel all the way round it. And there we go. You can see it hasn't affected the heading in the content section and that's because it's heading 1 in the menu on the page. Uh, so let's now do the links in that uh, menu section. So same thing, select a link, click the Add CSS rule, look at the selector, you can see it added the A, uh, choose the font, choose the size, uh, pick the colour, that pale colour, and no decoration, I don't want it underlined or anything like that. Uh, let's choose the background colour again, I'm going to go for the black, and I'm going to choose my box with a width of 138 again, just so it's slightly smaller than the menu. And height, I'm going to put auto, so if I have more than one uh, row, uh, you know, a long title, that will go in, padding and the margin, the same as before. Uh, and you can see this time, actually, you can't see item 1, item, uh, you can see item 2 and 3, and that's because I forgot to put in the float left. Float left. And this time when we apply it you can see it now neatly goes underneath the menu and we've got a lovely um, box for our links in the menu and again it hasn't affected the link in the content section so let's format those now so if we do the heading one first page content heading one choose our font and choose our size and choose our weight and let's pick our colour, and again I don't want any decoration on our heading. However, I do want a nice background colour, let's pick the uh, colour we've used elsewhere, just keep it in the style of the page, and pick our box, and I'm going to pick auto so it stretches across the whole thing, add the, um, the padding and add the margin, and I should be happy with that, I think so, yeah come on. And that's how it will look on the page. You can see a nice big heading across the top there. Now let's do the body text. So that's the paragraph um, style. So I can choose how that appears. So the font, uh, the size, uh, the colour. 
and now I'm there. I don't want any grounds or boxes for this because it's just going to appear in that contents area. And now let's do the link. So I'll select the link, um, make the new CSS style. See there, page content A4 uh, action. So click OK. Choose. Um, I don't need to worry about style, uh, size because it will inherit, but I do want it bold. Um, I do want it italic. And I don't want any underline and I want it black so it doesn't look like other links. Click OK and there you can see the styling for our link. Uh, next bit is just to do the text in the footer. Now that currently doesn't have any format so I'm going to turn that bit of the text into a paragraph and then I'm going to add a new style so the paragraph in the footer. Let's choose the type of font I wish a nice small size because it's not that important. Um, pick the uh, color and I'm just going to put this one in a box that so appears in the middle. Uh, so an auto width and uh, let's give it a margin of one all the way around. And I'm going to use the block uh, section now and set the vertical and horizontal alignment so it's in the middle and the center. And there it is. And I'm just going to fill this in uh, with, with some uh, details that you might put in the footer. You might like to put your copyright notice or uh, the details of who's made the website or anything like that. I'm just going to put uh, what resolution the site would be best viewed at. Um, so there we go. And now let's have a look at that in Safari. So I'm just going to file, preview in browser, pick Safari, save the page save the styles, uh, let's do a refresh and that's what it now looks like and I'm pretty happy with that as an example page laid out with CSS styles and divs and there it is floating around in the middle.